So I'm just trying to confirm that this engine is sound. I did do a lead down test like you guys seen in other videos. I did the oil cooler swap and every other thing I needed to do. I'm just trying to confirm that this engine is great. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to do a pressure test on the coolant system area. I have the cooling system set up. I used a number four cap right here. Even though it doesn't specify Toyota Tundra, I did go off the Land Cruiser and the Helix 2. And uh, between those two, it's either five or four. So I tried five out. It's too big a spring. Four outs just perfect. Four is perfect. So I just went with that. I'm going to start putting some pressure into the system, put 15 PSI because 108. Uh, let's see here, real quick. So the original cap says 108 kilopascal, that's 15.6 PSI around there. So I'm going to charge it up to 15 and hold it there for a couple minutes and start putting my stethoscope inside here just to hear any uh, air leak. And if I hear air leak, that should be the gasket. And I'm going to, that should be it. I'm just going to put my stethoscope there. The coolant, the, the oil coolers for engine and tranny should be, bright, they're brand new and they're sealed. So they, they shouldn't be leaking through. So let's see what happens. So I'm just going to pump this guy up back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and get this up to 15 and start hearing for noises. All right, so good update. It's been holding true for the past 30 seconds at 15 on the spot. I went around with my, with my stethoscope here. Just plugged it in there. I heard no no hissing noises, like if the gasket was broke and it's seeping through whatever. So yeah, the head gasket's perfect. The cooling system is perfect. Just some some freak accident happened here. Something really freaky happened here. Yeah, picking up where we left off, some freak accident must have happened here because, again, it's holding up perfect. Look at that. Now it's been at least 7 to 10 minutes and it's still been holding. I'm going to wait at least half an hour so my phone can charge also and then let's see what happens. But this system is sound. Who knows, man. Maybe somebody did pour in a quart of oil. I don't know. It's not, it's not normal, but it's not. It's not bad, look. 15 so let's see let's see how she holds up all right it's been more over 30 minutes and there's a gauge 15 on the spot no leaks nothing weird going on so i got nothing else um, so here's the setup I have everything sealed, clamped down. There's really nothing else to look for. So I'm going to start buttoning everything up and calling it a day. And obviously I have to do the vacuum coolant refill kit. It's basically called, what do you call it? Create vacuum in the coolant system. So that way I'll, no, there will be no, uh, air in the system but i'll be reading through this i'm just going to show you guys real quick what does it say so at least you guys get an idea just press pause every time you guys need to see anything else and sorry for the light and you got over here and that's it let's see what happens